Savior. Over here. How could there be an underground federal? Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure all Olvin's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the Daunt, it's... It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvent wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscream. <sighs> no, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olvin get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience... Well... Let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking then. If you learn the truth, maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Dead Bristleback by the falls. Now check it out. It looks like it died on impact. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. Later. 
tunnel of mine. And a lot of broken trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. this leads. Mm, pouch is full, but the pack has room. Bristlebacks. So they did come through here. They must have gotten trapped. I'm gonna have to take them out before I can look around. Yeah. <laughs> 
take a look at where the smoke's coming from. a lot of smoke. It looks like mine one's pretty far back. There's a lot of blaze down there. There's a lot of blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. <coughs> that was a dead end. Bristlebacks must have collapsed these tracks, too. So it's addressed to Oland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Oven must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think. That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvand blasting hot air all the time? Ulvand's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. Even with the valley working again, Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Osaram refuse to work unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. I need to go. Of course.
You better have my back. Maybe we're just being joking. <sighs> I'm sure there was something. Seems I was wrong. Must have been a false alarm. <sighs> Gala will lead us to victory. Why did we have to stay behind to guard Tain machine? We should be out there fighting. Someone needs to keep an eye on them. But no. Gala will run us through if we lose any more. Get looking. You this think we're clear? They're gone. <gasps>
Better check in that cave. Drawbridge. Might be my way across. That's one half of the bridge. How to drop the other side? Looks like there are a couple of weak points for the ropes attached to the bridge. Just down. Explosives created the sinkhole. I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. So, you've returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Ulfant. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Ulfant here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parchment. What? Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the Savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh the rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja. I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom, Ulvant. All for a few extra shards. And you almost drowned your other miners. And sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. Uh, I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. 
We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? Oh, <laughs> well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... Nope, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no! Don't want you! No! Don't need you! Don't no! with all <laughs> 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 Me. Mud looks good on you, Walvind. Oh, as the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Well, you got it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flamehair.